What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 15 of the THC Samuel Show. This is dropping on Sunday, uh, June. I think it's going to be the 20th. Uh, that's Father's Day. Uh, this episode is going to be uh, maybe a little bit more serious than previous episodes. Um, it might also be a little bit more personal than some previous episodes have, uh, have been in the past. Uh, but on Father's Day, I really wanted to take a chance to talk about uh, my dad. Uh, my dad was an artist. Uh, he passed away two years ago. He committed suicide in 2019. Um, so Father's Day to me uh, is a little bit different, uh, and for a lot of people, uh, Father's Day is a little bit different uh, than a lot of other people. You know, a lot of people are celebrating and having family get-togethers and whatnot, and there's a different percentage of the population that's, uh, you know, Father's Day might not be like, you know, the most happy uh, or celebrated or... I don't know, just, uh, I guess just might not be the most happy day. Um, so I wanted to take this chance on this Sunday to, to make an episode about my dad. Uh, that's really uh, how I got interested in art in the first place, how I got introduced to art. Uh, my dad was an abstract, abstract artist uh, my whole life growing up. My house was filled with different paintings, different mediums, uh, wood sculptures, uh, canvas paintings, all kinds of stuff. Uh, he had some work featured in galleries back in the early 80s before I was born. And uh, it was really just something I watched him do my whole life and something that I watched him have a passion for my whole life without ever really watching him being able to make a real career out of it. But uh, I learned a lot. I watched him. And I just wanted to take this episode uh, to kind of honor my dad a little bit. So rest in peace, Dad. And uh, I wanted to also show you guys some of the pieces that he made. So in every background of all my videos, all of these pieces, just hit my head on that plant, um, all of these pieces in, my, in the background are actually done by my dad. Um, he was, uh, and like I said, an abstract artist. His name was Brent, and uh, Brent Farley. And uh, I'm going to show you guys some of his work today. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, to anybody out there, you know, whether you're having an awesome Father's Day, okay Father's Day, crappy Father's Day, you know, it doesn't matter. Just try to focus on something that uh, that brings you joy. Maybe try to go find a piece of art that you love to look at. Go outside, enjoy the nature. Uh, just something that, you know, might uh, take your brain to a positive space. Uh, so with that, let's get into the episode, and I can't wait to show you guys a few pieces. I'm going to show you guys some up here, and then this is my little studio, and then I'm also going to bring you guys a little bit around my house and uh, show you pieces that I have uh, around the house in various spots. So let's go. Okay, guys, so here's the first piece of my dad's that I want to show you guys. This is the piece that sits behind me in my studio right here uh, where I film these YouTube videos. So again, my dad was an abstract artist. Uh, I grew up watching him do all sorts of paintings. This is kind of one of his sculpture shapes, his painting shapes, I guess I would say, on canvas. So that's just a uh, regular kind of uh, painting on canvas. That's kind of based on one of these cutouts. And he used to do everything freehand. He used to take a lot of pride in, uh, in telling uh, people who, who enjoyed his artwork that uh, everything done was freehand. He never used a ruler. He never used you know any kind of stencil or anything like that. Uh, he did everything freehand, which I always thought was pretty neat. So here we go, guys. Here's another piece by my father. And uh, I have this one hanging also in my office. And uh, this is a wood cutout, uh, kind of towards the end of, uh, I guess, his uh, his art career, uh, I would say. He started making uh, some really cool wooden cutouts. Uh, so this is just one of them. I think this one's actually double-sided. And uh, just over the last couple of years since he's passed, uh, I've just been slowly, I inherited um, all of his life's work. And uh, I've just been slowly kind of showing it to people and uh, thankfully have sold it to have sold some pieces uh, to some collectors uh, on the East Coast and uh, have just gotten some new people to uh, to see the work. So let me see if I can get a little close up here for you guys of the paint. It's just a really cool piece. Uh, my dad was a really creative person, struggled with a lot of stuff, but, uh, but his artwork uh, was really, really sick. So this is actually one of my favorite pieces by my father. This is a kind of a picture of his logo. Let me see if I can get it. Um, when he passed away, it won't focus. I'll show you guys what that looks like. But that ring that I wear uh, is actually a gift from my father. And uh, it's this uh, logo, uh, his company. He had a company back in the day when I was little. And uh, that's the logo of the company. Uh, so this is just one of the really cool kind of abstract spider pieces. Uh, that I just really enjoy. Uh, personally, I wouldn't have it on my wall if I didn't actually like it. Um, I think it's a really fun, fun piece. Uh, so I can't wait to show you guys a few more. So here we have another one of his abstract pieces. This hangs on the wall and kind of also creates a little bit of a shadow effect, as you can see, kind of behind uh, in those corners. And this is kind of a unique one. Uh, this shape and uh, just 
I don't know, out of, out of all of the work that he did, this one just, uh, just was a little bit unique. And uh, I, I love it, that's why I have it. Again, that's why I have this one hanging up. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Have you guys ever seen abstract art like this? Uh, what do you guys think? Do any of you guys out there paint or do any kinds of art? You know, again, this whole channel is just about talking about art and hopefully creating a community about people who love art. So this is one of my favorite pieces by my father. Just super colorful, love the, just love the abstraction. Okay, so I've got two more pieces to show you guys. Um, I've got hundreds of pieces of art, but really I've uh, just got a couple more that I want to show you guys in this video. This is another one of my dad's kind of more recent pieces, uh, kind of a few years before he passed away. Uh, again, it's that can that I guess that turned into my favorite style of work that he did, where he put the uh, the wood carvings onto the canvas. And let me get a different angle for you guys, so you guys can kind of see what that does. It's just a really cool effect. Um, it's something that I haven't seen too much of in the art world. Um, I wish I would have, you know, been able to see my dad uh, have more success uh, as an artist when I was younger. I know it's something that made him uh, made him happy. So definitely something that I learned from him, and that I guess uh, I guess you know inherited, so to speak, from him is uh, is a love for art. So here's one of the pieces that I have in my kitchen, and uh, it's just really gorgeous. It's a lot of fun to look at, a lot of colors. And then next, right next to it, so I've got that framed real close, right next to it we have this super fun, colorful, kind of cotton candy style. And uh, again, uh, just the same thing, it's that wood on canvas with the splatter with his kind of uh, original uh, kind of wood designs and wood shapes uh, in the abstract piece. Just a lot of fun to look at, uh, provides a lot of pop, a lot of color. I really like the back and forth of both pieces, the contrast in color, the addition of color, just all of it, big fan. So let me see if I can get you guys a little zoom. Just super fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments again, uh, trying to do a little uh, honoring of my pops with this video. Hope everyone's having a good Father's Day. So, since I started my YouTube channel, I haven't ever, uh, you know, really, I guess, given you guys any kind of tour or, you know, showed you guys any other parts besides my studio. But this is another one of my dad's pieces. This is actually an original on canvas, framed from the early 80s. So, uh, this piece is older than me. Uh, one of my favorites. I actually think this piece uh, was in a gallery back in the day. Uh, he did have some work in some Soho, New York galleries uh, way back in the day, kind of when I was a super child and before I was born. Here is another piece by my dad. A super fun, just colorful abstract. So that's a piece of canvas and then one of his wood cutouts on the canvas. Uh, so it just creates a really fun effect. And then we move over one more time and uh, we have one of my favorite pieces that I've had up on my walls for a long time. And again, he started kind of putting his wood carvings uh, kind of separated from a canvas to just give it uh, kind of like a layered effect and to uh, to add some shadow and to add some depth to some pieces. So let me know what you guys think. Have you guys ever seen artwork like this? I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to get some feedback. Quick little cut to the turkey. She's also never been featured on the channel, but this is my awesome little dog Z. I've had her. Well, she's not little. She's a big lab, but I've had her since she was eight weeks old. So out here filming. She's hanging out in the kitchen. She's a and I guess real quick before I wrap this uh, video up down here, will that focus? Let's see. Here is a piece uh, that is just all red on red, and this doesn't have one of his wood cutouts on it. This actually has, I believe, what is a piece of cutout acrylic, so it gives it like a little bit of a shine, and has a little bit of a sheen on it with the with the black and red. Just super cool. And then there's a photo of Chappie from previous episodes. Check that out if you haven't. But uh, yeah, another just another piece of my, of my dad's artwork. Hope you guys are liking this episode. If you guys are watching this far in, thank you so much. So I guess the last thing I'll show, I keep saying that a couple times. Um, my dad was also an inventor uh, when, I had a, when I was a kid. Uh, he had, I think at one point, uh, 10 or 11 uh, United States patents. And uh, this was the only product that he made that ever actually made it into stores. It was called the Peacetime Clock. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember or still, uh, <laughs> I don't go to malls too often, but the store Spencer's Gifts uh, that has all those like kind of cool and just like funky stuff. These clocks uh, used to be sold in Spencer's Gifts, the Peacetime World's Coolest Clock. So that was actually uh, a product that my dad designed and uh, created. And uh, he used to be a stagehand, so I've got some of that memorabilia as well. And uh, this clock is actually signed by the legend Elton John. So just pretty cool, just another little bit of info. Hope everyone's having a great day.
In my office, I have this giant, we did a little preview of this in uh, an earlier little clip, but in my office, I have this really big, it's probably about four by four, all wood uh, piece that my dad made. I, I really like it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I've got so much artwork in my house uh, that it just felt right to uh, to showcase some of my dad's work. So here you can kind of see that little corner uh, where I do my filming. And then there's another original right there in the corner. But uh, yeah, this big red one uh, is one of my favorites. So hope you guys are liking this episode again. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys so much. If you guys made it to the end of this video, I greatly appreciate it. Um, over the last, you know, couple years since my dad's passing, um, and he committed suicide, so it's a, again, it's just a, it's a hard day. I try to remember him in the most positive ways possible, and that includes hopefully making this video and just, you know, showing uh, whoever watches it, you know, just some of his artwork. And uh, just letting that kind of, kind of, you know, I guess keep the memory alive. So again, thank you so much to anybody who's watched this far and this long in the video. If you could do me a huge favor, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys are enjoying the content about art. Um, but hopefully this video gave you guys a little bit more of a background about really why, uh, why I love art so much. Why it's, I guess, such a, I guess, intricate part of just who I am and uh, my family and. Um, you know my dad and just why you know I, I guess I love it so much and why I collect it and why uh, being around pieces of art that I love and that bring me happiness really does make a big difference in my life. So again, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, we'll see you in episode 16. Peace.